To sports now, several high school basketball teams in the state did see their seasons go unfinished when the WIAA tournaments were called off back in March. But now those teams will have some hardware to show off anyway. Sports director Brandon Kennard is live now at 10 with the story. Brandon? John, while all players and coaches I've spoken with understand why those tournaments were called off, no one was happy about it, but the WIAA is making a nice gesture this week as it's sending trophies, plaques, and medals to all 56 teams that were still alive when those tournaments were shut down. I caught up with one local team today. The disappointment still hasn't worn off for Wrightstown head coach Mike Frolke. It's started to hit me now that I think that we're going to always have a championship game that we never got to play. After a state semifinal win, the Tigers were just one victory away from capturing the program's first ever state title. Now, two months later, a silver lining. Wednesday, this state finalist trophy arrived in the mail. We're understanding of the situation, but um, it was we were grateful that they are. They also understood how we felt afterwards and they, that they wanted to give us a little bit of recognition afterwards. We'll have a a nice trophy here to put in our trophy case um, in banners to hang on the wall um, in our gym. Um, it's nice to know. For Bridget Frolke, Wrightstown's star point guard and the coach's daughter, the cancellation of the tournament wasn't even the half of it. It was not an easy week for me. The All-State guard tore her ACL in a practice the week leading up to the state semis. She's now eight weeks removed from surgery and rehabbing with Packers team doctor Pat McKenzie Frolke is still on track to play Division I hoops at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. They're so supportive. Um, my head coach actually tore her ACL four times, so she understands the length of the rehab process and the emotions that go through someone that is experiencing an injury. They're just super understanding, and they want to help me in any way they can. As for coach, he'll be back on the sidelines next year. Frolke says he considered stepping away to better support Bridget at UMKC, but he just can't give it up that easily. Coaching is really part of who I am, what I do, and I love it. Bridget knows, my wife knows that uh, I don't know if they want to be around me if I'm not coaching. <laughs> uh, I, I enjoy it, and it's a big part of our family. A couple of the Tigers' key cogs reflecting on a great season. They went 25-2. and two and won the Northeastern Conference for a fourth consecutive year. Packers news today, the preseason.